Hey. Are we rolling? Yep. Oh, we're rolling. <laughs> hey, hey, so here we are. We're going to do our best for an in-depth recap of Walt Disney World 2023 Marathon. Spoiler alert, we finished uh, our third marathon. It wasn't our fastest, no. but it also wasn't our slowest. That's true. That's so. True. So, stick around. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back home we're celebrating we've got our ears we have our medals mm -hmm. all we're right. feeling all right yeah we, we, we are feeling we're, okay. okay so by the time we publish this it will be two weeks two weeks following the marathon mm -hmm. we're filming it one week following the marathon so still still feeling the marathon still... yeah not so, perfect let, 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 physically. Yeah, let, let's talk about it. So our old trip uh, was: we get there, mm -hmm. we get our uh, our uh, running packets, and then we do our thing, and mm -hmm. then we stay in the park for, for like, uh, yeah. you know a work week. Yeah, you know, five days. Uh, so uh, we got there. Didn't even bother going to the merchandise uh, <laughs> for the expo because by the time we get there. It's all. Yeah, so we're, we, I'm going to put this in big fat air quotes because I hate saying this, only running the marathon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We heard some of that. Yeah. This weekend. Um, so we don't have to show up, you know, by Wednesday to go to the expo like all the, you know, dopey runners mm -hmm. do. By the time we get there, I know people like to blame the, um, you know, the, online resellers but also it's all adobe people yeah, who yeah. like have to have to be there you on wednesday there, yeah. and so, um, so by the time by the time it. we get there yeah. on friday um there's not a whole lot yeah. in our experience there's not a whole lot of merchandise left right. so we didn't even go to right. the merch section of the expo so what happened friday we got up at 3 a.m mm -hmm. in the hotel by the austin airport right because we had a 6 a.m flight right. actually 5 50 before yeah. 6 a.m flight yeah. so we Four o'clock, go to the airport. We fly off, everything's perfect. We got uh, an exit row, which is great for Tali. We're flying southwest, so you get to pick your own seat. So mm -hmm. David got to stretch out his legs, yeah, which is nice. such a rarity. A, a, a regular flight, uh, any airline. My knees, uh, you know, hit the seat in front of me, not so it, so it's kind of rough. So it was nice. So yeah. you know, it was comfortable. It's like, hey, it's a great way. And it wasn't a full flight. Like I didn't have somebody right. sitting on the other side of me. It was like it was lovely. Really we nice. we arrived early. Yep. Everything's great. We get there. Oh my gosh, we landed Orlando Airport. If you've been Orlando Airport, and by the time we get down to uh, baggage claim, our bags were the, already on the right there. It was amazing. It was perfect. So this, start, this actually started a pretty magical like yeah. travel coincidence yeah. trip like yeah. everything okay. the timing of everything mm -hmm. worked out well for us it really did <laughs> so we picked up our rental car we drive to the expo mm -hmm. the start of our marathon weekend we go get our packet mm -hmm. or we get our bib and we go get our t-shirt mm -hmm. um so we we we've kind of chatted about this um we don't do well in expos no. um we're like we're really you know, intro. We're, we're really intro. We, I don't like. I don't and, like talking to people. And, like and, that and here's the deal: the the bib pickup has always been totally smooth for us. I mean, it's really nice. You just go down, boom. You get you go to where again you're because to go. we're doing it two days, you know, yeah, three I mean, days after yeah, everybody yeah, else. Yeah, There's yeah, never right. anybody there picking up bibs. And, and then you have to go to the uh, get your uh, shirts uh, at the back of the expo. Yeah. So uh, this year for us, anyway, the uh the vendors at the expo they were really kind of like aggressive they were back to back and, aggressive not in a, like not in a in negative bad way just like hey hey you want to see something cool and i mean we're we're introverts nope nope i don't and i actually had to tell you hey, you want to see something cool i'm like no no no, uh, no uh, i don't yeah, i don't i want to get out of here we're please. Walking <laughs> but we are forced yeah. to walk through here to go get our t-shirts so yeah, so it was rough i'm sure there was lots of neat stuff at the expo but we didn't see any of it because oh, yeah. we were just like well had our blinders on if you want to see some of the expo take a look at us here uh you know sweating it out and and leaving because uh, we just feel really uncomfortable yeah. FYI, this is the uh, introvert's worst nightmare. This is awful. 
Uh, get me out of here. Uh, let's go. <sighs> anyway. Uh, anyway, so we got our stuff. That's cool. Um, and then, you know. Walk around. Fr <laughs> Friday, we, um, you know, we walked around a little. We went to Epcot and we walked around some. But we do need to thank somebody. Oh, you notice we have some merchandise. From the expo that we awesome. did not go to. Or to awesome the... merchandise. Thank you so much to Chris and Breezy for getting us these things that we want to buy every year and can't. Yeah. So, so thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much, guys. We really appreciate yes. it. And uh, the dishwasher safe this year. Yeah. They're, and <laughs> they're it. actually actually really nice. I love thinking. it. And, okay, here's another thing. Since we're talking about the way this looks and everything. We, as we mentioned when the theme was announced, weren't super jazzed about the whole 90s thing just because yeah. maybe we're old enough that we don't want to be jazzed about 90s things. Um, it did grow on me yeah. in person. Like, I like this. Yeah. I like the, you know, yeah. I like, I just, this is cute. Yeah, this is really cute. I, I like it. It grew yeah. on me. Yeah, so, well done, Run Disney. Yeah. So, uh, Friday. Friday, Epcot. You went to Epcot, but we knew... Our room got ready early, too. Yeah. Oh, my Our room gosh. was never ready early. We had a really kind like of magical... Every, everything. Uh, transportation. Uh, yeah, everything was, was just boom, 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 boom. But we knew we were going to mm -hmm. wake up really early mm -hmm. on Saturday. Yes, to go cheer on the half marathoners. To cheer on the half marathoners. And what we did was something we had never done before, and, and we really didn't have uh, instruction for it, so, so we did it. We went to Main Street mm -hmm. uh, to cheer them on. So we got up really, really early, kind of apprehensive about how this was going to work out. It, It's easy. It was great. So what we did, uh, we took a bus. We chose not to drive, uh, drive that day, um, even though we had a car. Yeah. We were like, you know what, we'll just get on the last bus, mm -hmm. which is not advise nope. advised, not advisable. Not wouldn't, advisable. Wouldn't recommend it. If you're actually running, and we'll tell you why in just a second, but yeah. we got on like the last bus. We went down at like 3.50. Yeah, from our, from our resort, right? So, um, yeah. yeah, so we got on the last bus. Mm -hmm. um, and by the time, <laughs> you know, we left, like, we, like he rolled up and picked us up who were waiting there and then took off. Like, yeah. we didn't even wait for the bus to fill yeah. up. Like, if you've done one of these races, yeah. they, at least the first few buses, they wait for it to fill up before Yeah, and there were about 10 runners on the bus, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. It came from somewhere else. It must have come from yeah. somewhere else. So, yeah. we're on the road about 4 a.m. Well, guess what? The roads were shut down. They closed the roads They closed at the roads that weren't supposed to be closed yet. And so, the driver's driving around and he's like, well, that was my exit. Can't take it. Yeah. And so he had, he took us around and he couldn't find, he's on the phone with people, can't yeah. find, can't figure out yeah. how to get where he needs to get mm -hmm. with all the roads closed. Yeah. We were on that bus for 45 minutes, yeah. which was fine for us because yeah. we didn't have a race to run. Right. But the runners were freaking out in there yeah, so because, sorry, go ahead. Pro tip, don't, don't take get the on last the last bus. bus. Yeah. If you're, if you're running and you need to be there and you need to, you know, stretch or just like de-stress, don't take the last bus. Because we rolled in to the Epcot parking lot finally at like 15 till 5. Yeah. So 15 yeah. minutes before the race starts. You know how far away mm -hmm. they park mm -hmm. from the start line. Like I mean, th those folks. And here's the deal. The bus drivers, uh, they do a fantastic job. They were awesome. Right? Every, yeah. every volunteer, every security. I mean, they do a fantastic mm -hmm. job. So they, And all the cast members. Like, like there are a lot. We oh, talked yeah. to tons of people who oh, have yeah. been out there since 2 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Just in case. Runners needed something. So, you know, the only thing you can control is your timing. And, man, don't get on just, that bus. Don't get on that last bus, man. Yeah. Just take off earlier. Because that, that was the stress in that bus it was... really started to go up. And, and uh, yeah. So, anyway, we get yeah. there. So, we get there. And the, the what we had to do. So, all traffic needs to go to Epcot parking lot, which is where the start line is. Right. And then, if you want to go somewhere else on the route, you, like, take them on. So, for example, if you want to go to TTC to cheer on or to, like, mm -hmm. Polynesian to cheer on or... You know, Main Street, Whatever. you get on the monorail. Yeah. So we got on the monorail. Right. Right. And we went, and it was actually full of spectators. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so we went to TTC, transferred, went to Magic Kingdom. Got off. Easy.
So this is the part that we were like, how is yeah, this going to work? Um, you know, are they just going to like, yeah. are they going to like, check? you know, because. Do you need a park reservation? I, we, we didn't know. So we just like walked in. Yeah, they said, like, come hey, on. come on in, come, come on. on So we just like rolled straight through, didn't have to do anything. I don't know the cast members were didn't saying, don't stop, don't stop, just yeah, keep just coming like, in, just keep, keep coming in. It was great. So, it's all roped off. It's beauty. Yeah. If you want to see the video, and if you haven't, uh, you know, we'll, we'll put a link here. Uh, it was great. And it mm -hmm. was cold. So here's it's something else we cold. learned. Uh, the, the stores on Main Street are open. Yeah. So you walk in, right? And if you've run the race, you know that, like, that side of the street. So you're going towards the castle. The right side of the street is, like, blocked up. Like, that's mm -hmm. runners, right? Mm -hmm. So Main Street and over including the sidewalk over there, is is reserved for the runners. Yeah. But uh, basically the curb, the left curb on Main Street going towards Castle and over is open for spectators. Mm -hmm. Actually, more than the curb, right? Were we in the street? Were we on the curb? We were in the street. So, yeah, so, so some of the street too. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, so that whole block of stores on the left side of Main Street was open. All the way down to Casey's Corner. Which was really nice if you wanted to like warm yeah. up for a second. Yeah, yeah. I did look to see if they sold any skull caps. They did not. I would have given them any <laughs> yeah, amount of money yeah, right. to have yeah. something on my head in that moment. <laughs> yeah, it was um, cold, man. But yeah, all the way down to Casey's Corner. Now, Casey's Corner was serving drinks. Yep. So um, I saw some like little kids get like apple juice and stuff. But for like those of us who are grown up and freezing and can't handle... Uh, that temperature with a light jacket. Uh, they had hot cocoa and coffee. So we got a couple of hot cocos after we'd been out there for like an hour and uh, just like uh, so down them. It so, was, it was sorry, Riley. So what we need. Yeah. We missed Riley yeah. run by because like we were, you know, we were freezing, right? We're, and we're, we're tra shivering in the we were tracking, hot cocoa. we were tracking people. And then, you know, the tracker like kind of like froze. Uh, I don't know why some people weren't moving. And we were freezing, so let's go get some hot chocolate. We got some hot chocolate. We downed it. Oh, we went back. We must have. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. But um, we saw Chris and Breezy. We saw Chris and Breezy. That was awesome. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Breezy! It's good! We'll see you later! Um, okay, so that was the first part. That was really cool. I thought yeah. it was really nice. They had the store open. Of course, the bathrooms were open there, too. Mm -hmm. So we, we were out there for two hours. Yeah. This is something else we learned. They play one song over on Main Street and over two hours and over one song. You know, shout out to uh, every single cast member who works anywhere mm -hmm. in any of the parks. If you hear those songs song. over and over and you're still as awesome as you are, you, you have got some man. That is that is awesome. That was rough. <sighs> yeah. Same song over and over for uh, over two hours. But it was it was great mm. cheering on. It it really was great. There's so many and we people watched there. Everybody. Yeah. Like we saw the first runners come through and mm -hmm. we saw the last runners. Mm -hmm. Except for when we had our hot cocoa. We saw everybody run through. Um so that was cool. We yeah. were we were out there until seven thirty mm -hmm. was when we like we pretty much left the park when the last So if you through. ever want to cheer on It was it was great. Uh, even if you're you know, if you just happen to, to see our video and you're not a runner but you you might be there one of these marathon weekends. It, it, it's a lot of fun to do. And pro tip. Take a noisemaker. Yeah. So we learned this last year. Yeah. Um, last year we cheered on um, our friend Alistair at um, uh, at the half marathon. Mm -hmm. uh, so Jogger Blogger, check him out. Great videos as well. Um, and we did not take a noisemaker. And our hands and our voices were just killing us. Because yeah. we were like, woo! Yeah, two woo, hours, right? Woo, and, and, you, up, up. and oh you know, you, you really want to cheer on, but man, uh, our hands were, we, we were done. So, pro noise tip, makers. take some uh, clackers noise or, makers. you know, noisemakers, yeah. you know, whatever. Okay, so that was Saturday. That was mm -hmm. Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we also got trapped a little bit. We talked about that in the last video. Yeah. We got kind of trapped between, <laughs> yeah. like, a street, a crosswalk that hadn't been open yet because of the half marathon no. and, like, security. So, we were, like, it was weird. literally stuck on a sidewalk yeah. and couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> That was weird. I mean, we could have, um, but we would have been chased. <laughs> yeah, we had to, we had to save ourselves. We hadn't run our marathon yet, so we would have been fine. We could have totally moved faster than them. But we yeah. needed to get to bed really early because, again, we were going to have to wake up really early. So one um, interesting workaround that we tried on this trip for food, uh, because we knew that we wanted to eat what we normally eat the mm -hmm. night before. And that is 
whole wheat pasta with some like olive oil and butter, mm -hmm. onions, garlic, you know, just really simple, unoffensive vegetables. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a kitchen in our room, so we had to figure out how to transport that, how to make it ahead of time and transport it. So what we did was we cooked our pasta, we got it all ready to go, we vacuum sealed it in our food saver, and then we packed it in um in our checked bag along with like a big, we get we have one of these, it's like this big, like a, a frozen brick, basically, yeah. um, that lasted like 24 hours. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, they're really nice. Um, so we packed it in an insulated bag, put it in our check bag, mm -hmm. and didn't touch it. So we actually left the house at 3 p.m. on Thursday to go take Millie Dog to my parents' house, mm -hmm. and then get to the airport hotel, and then the next day we traveled. By the time we got to checked into our hotel, about 24 hours later, um, it was still cold. Mm -hmm. It worked out perfect. So, so we so just Saturday cracked we... it open, microwaved it, and ate that yeah. for dinner, yeah, and then went good. to bed at 5.30. 5.30 p.m. Lights out. Lights and out. And we fell asleep. <clears throat> yeah, we did. That was one good thing about cheering on the, the half yeah. marathoners. I think we were just, like, tired. Yeah. So oh, yeah. We actually slept through the night, which yeah. is rare for yeah. like, pre-race. And then we night. got up really early. Like, 1.30? 1? 1? Mm -hmm. I think we got mm -hmm. up at 1. Well, we got ready. Uh, breakfast. We, we ate our breakfast that we had pre-packed, which was mm -hmm. uh, uh, oatmeal, quick mm -hmm. oats. Um, we had it with an app. Um, uh, we have it with apple at home. We had it with a banana and yeah. peanut butter that we yep. we bought in the store. Uh, the hotel. And then we just we got ready, mm -hmm. got our stuff, mm -hmm. and got in the headed, car. Yeah, and headed out. Mm -hmm. and Made it to Epcot parking lot, um, and then we uh, walked and met. Uh, Riley. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, we met Riley, um, you know, kind of in the pre-staging area. Uh, music's blaring. Uh, it's yeah. always a lot of fun. Kind of gets you all pumped up. Uh, and then when it was time, we walked a long way. It was a long way. A long way. That's just the way they set it up. You know, mm -hmm. from the pre-staging, once you get called and everybody starts moving to the corrals, it's a long way. It's a very long way. And it was cold. Uh, but we finally made it to our corral. We were in uh, Corral E. And, you know, we're just kind of trying to find a place to, to settle in the corral once we got in. We saw Chris and Breezy said hi. We wandered in and we, you know, it's like, well, let's just get over here in this dark mm -hmm. corner. And there are Kim and Sonic, awesome. our, our wonderful friends that we met last year. And if you wanted to watch the marathon from last year, you can see Kim and, Kim and Sonic at the very end. Put the a link right there. The very end. We, we, we really found great. us in the parking lot. It was, it was great. And and yeah. so, you know, you're in your corral and, and uh, you know, getting ready. And the marathon started. I was feeling great. Mm -hmm. You were feeling great. Mm -hmm. I think everybody was feeling great. Yeah. It was really exciting. Uh, you know, we had friends all around somewhere. You know, Riley's up ahead. Ryan's uh, one corral behind us. We were Kim and Sonic. Chris and Breezy were in our corral, uh, you know, just so many people. Uh, and then it started and we went and the temperature was nice. Yeah, it was nice. It was humid. Yeah. I mean, it was it was in the 50s. It was in the lower 50s, I think, when we started. But even like a couple miles in, I was just like wiping yeah. what felt like sweat off of me, even though I know it wasn't sweat. It was just like really, really thick air. Yeah. But it was okay. Yeah. I'll take I'll take cold humid over hot humid. You just have to be cautious. And, and and you know the the races run so wonderfully. You know we're reminded you know humidity is not a good thing when when because you need to sweat and then the sweat you know helps you cool off. But with Unless humidity humid. you're just too. It's like you're. It doesn't evaporate. Like you've come out of a yeah. swimming pool or yeah. something. So, you know the race itself. Uh, again, we trained for 28 weeks and uh, we're running with Kim and Sunny. I will say, and I think I think this is true, I think we ran continually more miles during this marathon than we ever, ever have before. Ever before. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thank you, uh, yeah. Kim and Sonny. <laughs> yeah. You really pushed us yeah, you did. quite a bit. Yeah, it was great. Um, we ran pretty much, saw, other than bathroom breaks, which we had more of than usual, mm -hmm. but yeah, whatever. But whatever. We, we tried to like... Figure out how to get fewer bathroom breaks. Like yeah. We just it didn't work out this time. We had to we had to stop a bunch, um, and water stops. Other than that, we ran through maybe mile seventeen. Yeah, yeah, P pretty right? pretty much, pretty much. It, it was great. Uh, it was great. Mm -hmm. Feeling really good. Mm -hmm. um, one of our goals this year 
was for us not to feel not to horrible feel at like the end of the marathon. Garbage at the end of the marathon. So how did we do? I did okay. We're fifty percent of the way there. Yeah, I did. Fifty percent of the way there. So it was all my fault. Uh, for whatever reason, I just kind of got taken away by um, you know the excitement, and I didn't, didn't eat, eat. Uh, early enough and then often, often enough. enough. And so during the run, uh, my stomach started uh, grumbling with hunger, and I knew, oh, oh, I have made a big mistake. Um, and then. <laughs> Coincidentally, at about mile 16, 17, uh, our camera, the one we used to uh, do the video, uh, the battery died. And then my battery died. <laughs> I totally bonked. And, and it was it was awful. Uh, I, I was having a really hard time. Thanks to you. Uh, I, I made it through. And thanks to Kim and Sonny, uh, I, you know, I made it through. And uh, it, it was hard. Um, I... I just didn't fuel, yeah. and, and it, it was it was yeah. pretty rough. And and not to be all dramatic or anything, but I need to I need to point this out. The Saturday before we left, mm -hmm. um, uh, my body decided to pass a kidney stone. That was not fun. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, we we didn't see that one coming. That was <laughs> awful, and the doctor. Let's just say it was awful. So it was weird running a marathon yeah. uh, with that on the back of my mind. But anyway, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the things that was a little odd, one of two things that was a little odd, apparently they ran out of bananas during the marathon. Yeah, so they have... They still have bananas at the end. Mm -hmm. So when you get your little, you know, food yeah. box at the very end, yeah. we got a banana then. But at the... There's, they have, actually they had two this year, right? Uh -huh. Two food stops where they had bananas available for you to eat. And at one point I looked around and there were banana peels everywhere. I was everywhere. like, did I miss the food stop? It looked what? like a Donkey Kong explosion. <laughs> there were banana peels everywhere. <laughs> or like Mario Kart. Yeah, okay, right. Um, they ran out. They ran out of bananas apparently, which was weird until yesterday, uh, which was Friday, the, our last day of the day that we flew out. We went into Magic Kingdom. Got one of those little for breakfast, the little waffles with the Nutella and oh, they, uh, those are fantastic. the berries and bananas in it. And ours didn't have any bananas, so I think there might be like some sort of banana, banana shortage. shortage. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, they ran out of bananas. Just weird. Um, I really could have used a banana, but you yeah. know, hey, it happens. The other thing we noticed: um, one, we received uh, the fewest photo pass photos. Yeah. Uh, of of any of the three marathons we've done to run Disney. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe there's a shortage there too. They do a fantastic yeah. job. PhotoPass photographers, oh, totally. look what they have to do. The ones that we with, right? got were great. Oh yeah. They were really great. They're totally awesome. But for whatever reason, we just ended up with like tons of people in front of us mm -hmm. every time we yeah. approach one. And very few. I do feel like there were fewer of yeah, them. Yeah, I think there were fewer photographers. Um, and uh, a lot of them also working on like their tripod. <laughs> it was monopod, just the timing. Or, like yeah. every time we pass yeah. one, they're like adjusting their chair yeah. or like and doing their so, camera. Like, not shoot. a knock, not a knock at all. <laughs> no, just, to, just weird to, timing on our uh, part. Yeah, it's just, it, um, it just seemed like we, but got, we got a good, years. We got some good finish line photos this year. That was good. We didn't get a great finish line photo last year. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. So, okay. Um, you know, and and we got to run with uh, uh, Ryan for a little bit. Mm -hmm. We saw uh, Riley speed by going yeah. in the opposite direction. Yeah. And then one thing that really got me as I was uh, feeling the, the, oh my gosh, I, I just had zero energy. Um, we saw the balloon ladies like three times during our run. We we saw them early during Early, the run. and then, oh. yeah, so in the beginning, we go, you know, down the highway, of course, because that's what we're doing. Over, We go over an overpass, and we take that long mm -hmm. kind of loop around and then, and then go under the overpass. Well, by the time we made it around and down, and we're just about to go under the overpass, the balloon leaders are running, and that was like mile four? Yeah, it was early. Like, it was it's early, like, and it really uh, surprised me that they were just like right there, yeah. but you know, whatever. And it didn't seem like that far, like they were that far behind us. Yeah. So whatever, we kept running, that's fine. Yeah. The other place that I remember seeing them, we may have seen them one other time, but the other place I remember is through the like, the Blizzard Beach situation. Oh. It's just really torturous. <laughs> so you gotta, 
you you run down forever this way and then you run back and then you run in the parking lot you run around the parking lot then you run back and then you run back out you're running like next to people Uh so many times Uh well by the time we finally made it out of that we saw the balloon ladies entering it's like okay that one i knew that was a long distance you know like it felt like a couple miles yeah so I felt like we were okay there, but you know, that's like mile 20. It's like, well, I know. okay, they're yeah. still like kind of on our yeah. tail. And somebody shouted out, oh, they're only like a minute and a half behind. And I'm like, what? No, it couldn't have been that. <laughs> they were longer than mine. I know. Their, their, uh, <laughs> their intimidation factor is legendary, right? So, uh, um, well, we stayed ahead of them. So, yeah, and, okay. and it was great. I mean, again, the, the work put into making this happen. It is just amazing. And it was different this year. We ran through almost all of Magic oh, Kingdom, Magic Kingdom. Which yeah, was, was really cool, cool right? That it's like cool. the first time we've ever run by uh, the, the Jungle Cruise and Pirates. It's too much and, energy. And, uh, you know, <laughs> running by uh, Splash Mountain and, and right next to Thunder Mountain. So mm-hmm. it was really, really oh, cool. Uh, and we ran all the way in, in Epcot coming back. We ran all the way around mm-hmm. the World Showcase. Mm-hmm. And the last couple of years, we've, we've had to like exit, I guess it's because of construction that they're doing. We've had to exit by Mexico. Oh, yeah. Well, we went all the, we got to go all the way up by Spaceship Earth this time, mm-hmm. which yeah. was neat. We haven't yeah. done that. Yeah. Not since the Star Wars yeah, races for us. Yeah. And then post race. Post race. Poor Davey was in really bad shape. Yeah. Again, my fault. We're halfway there. We're going to do it next time. Yeah, we will. We're so, do it next time. Uh, we, we, uh, uh, we said hi to friends. We, we found a spot. I, I felt like laying down and thankfully... Um, he wanted to sit on the ground and I'm like, we're not getting you up. <laughs> yeah. You're never getting back up again if you sit on the ground. We yeah, need to right. move a little bit more and find a bench. Yeah. Which we did, thank yeah, goodness. Because we, we could not have gotten and, back up. And you know, I really hope some, somebody <laughs> has video. Maybe somebody out there has video. But I was sitting there and I was being force-fed animal crackers and pretzels. So I was just like... Yes. Just eat it. I didn't feel like eating. I knew I had to, but oh my God. I knew he had to. We all knew he had to, but he didn't want to. I'm like, okay, you got to eat it. (laughs) Oh, but here comes coming in the hangar. (laughs) But but I I finally started to feel better. But you got his drink. (laughs) Yeah, and then uh, then we had to say bye to Kim and Sonny. Mm. We walked back to the car. Now, here's something that we did this year. It was really awesome. We wanted to do it last year, but A, we both felt like garbage. And B, last year... um, Delta, it was Delta, right? It was just like raging. And we like ended up canceling all of our in-person or all of our indoor dining reservations oh, last yeah. year. Because we were like, oh. Yeah. Eh. So we ended up, we planned for this last year, but we didn't do it. So yeah. what we did this year is. Reservations. We took, rather than check a gear bag. Oh. Yeah. We had a, a dining reservation for 2 p.m. German beer garden. At the, at the beer garden. Yeah. We made it. Like five minutes late. We were like just in the nick of time. Yeah, we so were within the grace period. Yeah. Um, oh, I need to talk about that. That was funny too. I'll, I'll say it right now so I don't forget. We check into the beer garden and you know, beer garden is like tiered, right? So they, <laughs> one of the questions they ask you is like, are you able to go up and down stairs? We're like, no. we're like, not today. Like, sort of. I mean, yes. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, 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 physically we, we can, uh, absolutely. but it won't be pretty. And bless them. They sat us on the top. <laughs> we didn't have to go yeah. down any stairs. And, uh, and apparently, <laughs> apparently we smelled enough that, that they, they sat put us, us on, on our, our own table. <laughs> <laughs> but no, here, we didn't smell because what we did. Oh, yeah, right. What we did uh, was we packed our little gear bags, but we left them in the trunk. We didn't check them in. Right. So in our gear bags was a, a change of outer clothes. So um, we didn't change undies, but we, I know, whatever. We probably should have, but yeah. yeah come on. Whatever. Uh, but we changed our outer shirts, which in my opinion is what actually smells. Yeah, yeah. Why do athletic shirts smell yeah, so bad? Yeah, shirts, man. Um, so we changed our shirts and we changed our, like, bottoms, our, our shorts mm-hmm. and pants. Mm-hmm. Um, and what we did while doing that, I bought these, um, like, camping biodegradable body wipe mm-hmm. things. So we grabbed those and just kind of wiped the sweat mm-hmm. off of us. And they worked really well. Yeah. They did a great job. I, I was really shocked because I, I could not smell myself. <laughs> Maybe your nose was just like revolting yeah. against yeah, you. I think like, my, I can't my, handle this My anymore. brain was shutting off. But they were, <laughs> they were great. Yeah, they were awesome. They were so, you know, we wiped so down. We stripped down the parking lot and, like, changed. Put our medals on and our... Uh... Yeah, we did our medals. We didn't wear these because it was too hot at that point. We needed, like, yeah. 
sunshade hats that we put on our sun hats. Yeah. Um, and we uh, we walked up to the beer garden and we mm -hmm. had a great little meal. Oh, we did yeah. not make the mistake kind of mistake of getting liter beers this time. It just takes up too much space in my gut. Yeah. Um, but we got half liters and it was perfect. Well, and he here's the thing too. Uh, you, if you follow mm. us, you know that we're vegetarian. Uh, awesome vegetarian options at the German Beer Garden. Mm -hmm. Awesome, mm -hmm. delicious. And then their desserts are just desserts out of this really world. It, it And the beer, of course, is wonderful. And we arrived just in time for the uh, first round of the oh, live entertainment yeah, of the... The band, the German band, uh, mm -hmm. so it was it was totally it was fantastic. Great. Yeah, it was great, and we had a we had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. And then we came back and we crashed. Yep. Yeah. That was our marathon. Yeah, and then we were like really sore for several days, and it's kind of baffling to walk around and see everybody you know wearing their dopey medals, which means they ran a lot more than us oh, yeah. over the course of four days. You know, they're jumping, and they're doing like, yeah, you know. Like, oh, Walking around, like everything's fine, and we were we were just we were pretty beat up on this run, and I'm not sure why. Maybe because we ran more than we maybe, but well, usually would yeah. um, straight. But I don't know. We we were we were in some moderate pain. Yeah, we were for several days. Yeah, I mean um, we powered through it. Yeah, we had but, a great time at yeah. parks, but um, yeah, we we were hurting. Yep, we were hurting very much so. So that was marathon number three. Done. Um, um, coming up, we have not a full marathon for a while, uh, but we have, uh, we've, we've, we've found some half marathons yep. we might be doing. Um, of course we live in Texas, so we can't do them after, we can't comfortably do them after say April. Yeah. Um, so this I, is actually kind of prime running, uh, season right now, right now. And then it starts to sneak up into yeah. warmer temperatures. Which, which we are going to do. So, you know, we said it before, uh, summer video is back, you know, our running adventures aren't over. We're going to keep running. Uh, we're going to keep gonna running. We're going to keep doing weekly videos. Cheer us on because mm -hmm. we're going to try something starting, uh, February 1st. Uh, something we've never done. We've talked about it, but we've, we've never done it. it. We've never, never actually done it. So we are going to commit to run every day for the month of February. And and uh, we're not only going to just run every day, we're going to try to get better throughout and hopefully uh, do better by the end of February. Yes, it is the shortest month. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah we would really use some support uh there because uh yeah. we've never done that we're, just, we're gonna see how yeah it so uh follow along we'll have updates on that next week uh because we're gonna have to just uh, start doing that um there you go we have uh bruised toenails black uh, toenail bruised <laughs> egos because dummy what? hair didn't uh, feel properly uh, and there were some other interesting things that metals. We, we have metals we have metals we have and metals. we have ears that show that we finished it we did uh and speaking of which uh somebody and and i feel so bad somebody i, I we received our ears and then i was looking and for he a was place delirious. i was delirious somebody came up and said are these supposed to be crooked and they showed me their ears and this logo was totally uh tilted and i looked and i said well isn't that kind of like a 90s thing and well apparently not because i i, I don't Sorry. think they were supposed to be if that you're crooked. watching we yeah. didn't but you did it though realize. you did it you got your ears yeah. you did it yeah i hope you're okay with uh with your ears we had a wonderful time and, and meeting new people seeing old friends uh it it really makes makes all of this even more exciting and, and we're very grateful for all of it so yeah that's our recap hope you enjoyed mm. the snippet of footage if you haven't seen uh the marathon footage uh there it is and uh let us know uh, what you thought let us know how you're feeling uh share with us uh your experience uh, it, it was it was awesome was it fun. really was great you know and we also did things that we had never done being at the parks one thing we did is we went to fort wilderness yeah never yeah. been there never been there uh we went we wanted to go see the horses so uh and so they're beautiful did, they're beautiful if you want to go see the horses they live right by like the boat docks so i couldn't find them on the map mm -hmm. so we ended up going to the very or the very front uh, so we took a boat there and then we ended up in the very front of the resort by the buses because there's some stables there that's not where 
No. There were horses there. Uh, but, but it, it was as awesome. As we were walking there, we, um, this uh, cute, cute couple in a tow mater uh, golf cart yeah. kind of play, which was really cool. It was named Lil Mater. It looked fantastic. It was really cute. They and, drop by, they say hi, they, they have seen our stuff. So yeah. That was neat. Uh, so thank you for that. If you're watching yeah. this, thank you. It was, it was so cool to hear that. Uh, particularly since we were kind of lost and uh, losing it. We were definitely going in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, Luckily, we were... though, right after that, a bus rolled up and <laughs> yeah. took us the rest of the way, so we yeah. didn't walk that whole like mile and a half. Uh, it was really neat. And then, yeah. um, you know, Fort Wilderness, the views are beautiful. We sat on a porch on some rocking chairs. We got some drinks. Some cocktails. And uh, uh, Kelly came and sat next to us. Really on, nice uh, lady came up and chatted with yeah, us for a while. She even offered us pizza. Thank you, Kelly. We really wanted pizza, but uh, sorry, the pepperoni was on there. It, 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 we it had, we had great. such a great, a great time. Yeah. A good day. And you know, we got to think about oh, what are we going to do? You know, or, or what are we going to run? How are we yeah. going to do this? And so we're coming up with all these ideas. We're really, really thankful that you watch and that you're going to uh, continue watching and follow us because we got a lot of uh, we got a lot of That's running okay. things uh, you know set up because like we always say it's always an adventure <laughs> with you stay tuned for a lot more.